Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering UiPath Forward Americas 2019. Brought to you by UiPath. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of UiPath Forward here at the Bellagio. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, co-hosting alongside of Dave Vellante. We have two guests for this segment. We have Sanjay Sadasivan. He is Attended Automation Process Lead at EY. Thank you so much for sure. coming on the show. Thank you for having us. And we have Gotham Godgary. He is the Attended Automation Lead at EY. Thank Great you so much here. for yeah. coming on the show. Thank you. So, about a year ago, you embarked on an Attended Automation Project within EY. EY, of course, is, is a company that helps other companies with their RPA transformations, but this is one you did on your own. I want to hear about what the impetus for this project. Why did you start it? What was going on? Sure. Yeah. Yes, I, I can take that one. So um, we started this project, like you mentioned, about a year ago. Uh, we both are from EY's SAP practice, and uh, EY has been undergoing uh, SAP transformation for the past uh, few years, and so, uh, we're kind of replacing a whole bunch of uh, almost 1,400 systems and moving to a single instance SAP uh, project which covers everything that our client servers do uh, in the market, uh, entering client information, all the things that CRM does, uh, project management, uh, engagement, economics, uh, as well as the whole finance and procurement um, uh, work. Uh, so I think, uh, We've got, uh, right now, 100,000 users on, on the SAP single instance. Uh, and SAP is great at what it does, which is essentially entering transactions uh, into the system efficiently at scale. Uh, but the feedback that we were getting uh, from our end users, uh, especially those end users that end up using the system maybe once a week to maybe once a quarter was that it was sometimes too difficult for them to navigate into the system, try to remember all the things that they had to do in the SAP system. Uh, so we were at the Miami event last year and so we heard about attended automation from UiPath and we kind of went back and did a POC to see can we use attended bots on top of SAP system uh, and help the user go through some of those usability challenges. Uh, so we started last year and uh, you know, we're, we're currently live as a pilot. Um, EY is uh, 250,000 users, so our pilot is huge, so it's got about 20,000 users uh, as of uh, this week. Um, Why attended bots? What are yeah. attended bots? What's the motivation for attended bots? So, in fact, when we started the process, uh, we had two options to go through the kind of the traditional unattended bot, which was have the user enter data in an Excel sheet or some sort of uh, uh, screen capture, uh, email that information and have the bot then enter it. Uh, we initially started with that, but that ran into several problems, <laughs> like the data was already too old by the time it got into the transaction system. Then we had to rebuild the, the full front end of SAP, which has taken years to, to build. Uh, so that's why we started using attended bots, which was, can we just put a bot on, on the user's machine so that when they want to enter a transaction, they just call the bot and the bot does all the hard work for them. So that, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's how we began. And to your question as to why attended bots, uh, there's a certain level of intelligence actually the user puts in when entering these transactions. So an attended bot actually just takes some information and then plugs it in. But that's not the way UI works. For example, if you're entering an opportunity, there's a lot of thought process the clients are actually going through. What's the pursuit going to be? Who are my likely sales leads? What's the percentage of why I'm winning this transaction? So we needed the user to actually enter that information in the system. But using a normal SAP system, uh, especially when you're a sales lead, you're meeting with a client, entering all of that information was getting a bit cumbersome. The attended automation process actually cuts down those steps. If, for example, if SAP requires you to enter, say, 20 fields, this actually cuts it down to like five fields or five screens, and they can enter that information through the attended bot, guides them through each process. It's a streamlined process, and they can exit out of it. That's it, they're done with the system. Focus on the lead, actually. So, so you came to the conference last year, had this eureka moment, hey, could we do this and help our people who are uh, suffocating under these dreary, tedious tasks? So was it hard, to, was it a hard sell? I mean, were they, were they easily brought along of, yeah, we want to try this? Or was there any sure. anxiety on their part of, oh, sure. yeah, what are that, we doing here? 
So I, I think um, we had a great uh, sponsor uh, within the firm. Um, uh, and we are trying this out for the first time. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you know, from talking with UiPath experts here, uh, not a lot of other companies have tried this. Uh, so we did go through a step-by-step -step approach uh, to kind of de-risk as we went through this. We started with a small POC, uh, learned from that. We you know, then uh, uh, put those bots in front of real users, right. uh, got feedback, kind of you know, agile approach and, and built it over time. Yeah, I think one of the key points is really doing a business let scope definition. So we went to our partner community and asked them, you know, what are the most frequently used processes that we should automate with that yeah. automation process? What are the pain points? What are the current challenges? How do we want you to alleviate us? So basically we actually use the feedback from the partnership to focus on those particular steps to automate. So, and then change management, obviously, you know, we have to engage with the user community all the time to make sure that, you know, getting the right feedback, maybe adjust our process, or how we are building the bots accordingly as you're going through the process. I think that was key as well. So, so the user experience now, so, so walk us through how, what it's like now for, for the human worker who had these, these tedious tasks, and now what's it like with this attended bot? Um, so, um, the attended bot is an application which is on the end user's laptop. Uh, so as soon as they open the laptop, it's, it's right there on, as an icon on their bottom right corner. Uh, so they go there, click, click on that, and it lists about 15 SAP processes that they can run. Uh, so they know what they want to do in the system. They want to create a new client, they want to create a new engagement or a project. Uh, and so they would go there, call that, you know, just click play, and essentially sit back and watch the bot then take over their screen, navigate to the right SAP transaction. And uh, you know, it, it, navigating, navigating to this uh, transaction seems easy, but when you have 15 processes that you know, 200,000 users need to know and it's not straightforward sometimes, uh, the bot does three, four clicks before they know it, brings them to the right screen, and then it also adds a message on top of every screen that says, this is what you're supposed to be doing on the screen. So before creating a new client, first search within our MDM system, first search within this DNB system to make sure you're not creating a duplicate. So we've got like help messages added on top of the screen as yeah, well. So I it think kind one of the main takes points, them through the process. Yeah, yeah I think <clears throat> a normal SAP system uh, in a particular screen, uh, you could always go to a help, maybe a portal and get some help but with the attended automation, it gives an opportunity for each of those screens as well to give specific help, contextual help. So basically, if you're on a particular screen and you're having an issue with this particular screen, you don't have to pick up the phone and call maybe a user desk or you know, close the screen and look through some manuals. Right there, through that attended automation process, we gave a link where they can get actual information on that particular screen. So they can finish a step without actually closing out of the process itself. So that is one of the big... So you know, the way I explain this to internal audiences is we have built the bot to be our best trained employee in SAP. So instead of them calling a human to you know, go through the SAP transactions, the bot is right there guiding. And the bot is watching what they're doing, so if it gets a SAP error, then it kind of suggests to them, here's two ways that you can get around this particular error. So it's doing, it's doing things like it's having your you know, friend sit next to you and tell you how to go through the process. You guys, are in the SAP, sorry, you guys are in the SAP practice. We are, right. And, and uh, so it's been quite a run the last 10 years for Bill McDermott. Um, and, and, and I believe they acquired an RPA company. It's a small little that's tuck right, in. But you guys chose UiPath. <laughs> you know, I don't know what yeah. that says, but what are your thoughts on that? I mean, in terms of, we've been asking practitioners, best of breed or full suite? Obviously you went with best of breed. That's right, actually we, we spoke with SAP when we, before we started our journey. We actually did a POC with another smaller firm as well, an RPA firm, and we spoke with SAP as to what their capabilities were. Uh, but just looking at what's out there in terms of the product suite and how it fits our processes, we just felt that UiPath went that step further. It really met our needs in terms of attended automation. And then yeah, obviously we looked the at the Gartner service and so on. Yeah. Uh, and it was right up there in the right hand quadrant. So we felt that UiPath was the right answer for us. Great. But, but we are working with SAP to actually help through this process. So. Uh, the, the bot has to watch the screen, like I mentioned, and kind of understand the screen layout, the screen fields. Uh, so instead of that watching 
uh, you know, words and, and names on the field that's actually using these things called automation ID. So SAP is adding these IDs on every screen, which actually helps the, the any RPA a vendor sit on top of it. Yeah, and, and that's one of the key learnings that we've been finding out that SAP, we as Gautam was mentioning, we have this automation IDs where the attended bot actually uses to transact with the system. And then we see that SAP CRM has this cloud release every quarter, and they basically push out some code into our systems, uh, which is every quarter. And we see that more and more automation IDs are coming through the SAP systems as well. So we have, you know, we have to we have our own challenges in terms of managing that quarter releases and make sure that it doesn't break our attended bot. So with your iPad, but so far it's been good. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for coming on the cube. It was a great conversation. Great. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Great. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. Stay tuned for more of the Cube's live coverage of UiPath Forward. Thank <laughs> you.